So I have seen many people asking me how these large language models basically work. So here is a simple step-by-step -step workflow for beginners. Uh, as you can see, it all starts with a user question for a basic LLM model, a base model, for example, like a chat GPT. It all starts with a question, write a poem about AI. So the model doesn't understand this language, this natural language. Uh, so it needs to break down the sentence into small chunks of words. And this process is known as tokenization. For example, write a poem about AI. So it breaks down this whole sentence into write a poem about AI. So now we got different small text chunks. And each text chunk is assigned with a numerical value. Now, that's the next process. That's what we call embeddings, or you can also call vector embeddings. And now embeddings got created. And now here is where the magic basically happens. Uh, the each text chunk got assigned with a numerical value. And these numbers flow through a massive neural network called the transformer model, right? So let me tell you a little bit about transformer model. <clears throat> so before what happened, the models that we had were very ineffective. They were predicting very wrong words. The probability was very less, right? And that is when the folks, the researchers from Google came up with this transformer neural network model that had self-attention mechanism and also feed forward mechanism, right? So this basically helps the model understand how words relate to each other. And the prediction became very fast and very accurate compared to the old models, right? So as you can see in the image, the transformer neural network came comes into the picture after the uh, vector embeddings. And after processing, the model doesn't just split out your answer. Instead, it predicts the next word, next most likely word, right? By calculating the probabilities. Maybe in has a 35% chance or A has a 25% chance and so on, right? The next word prediction happens. So it picks one, it, it picks one word, which is more probable. And uh, here's the clever part, right? So it feeds that word back through the neural network to predict the next one. So that's how the loop continues. As you can see, the, the, the green flow, the green line that is going back again from the sampling to embedding. So this loop continues building your response word by word until uh, you get a complete uh, poem, right? Uh, or answer or a story, right? So the model isn't thinking or understanding. It's, it's just uh, incredibly good at predicting your next word, right? As you can see, the user input, the tokenization happens, and then the vector embeddings get created, and all these vector embeddings go through uh, the neural network that is the transformer model to predict your next word. And then the sampling happens and uh, which goes through the uh, loop again uh, to basically come up with a proper answer for your query, right? Uh, it basically selects the next word in the uh, uh, next token in the sampling model. And that's how the whole process gets generated. And that's how you get the proper answer at the end. Hope you understood how the large language models basically work. Thanks.